hello good day and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be talking about the one command statement or advice from LNG white I wish that Seventh-day Adventists would actually obey or, or, or truly consider right now as you can see this is not a Bible study or discussion or, or this is not a Bible study but rather just a, just a simple short discussion right as you can see this video is very short too as well so I'm just talking to you on a subject this subject that I find very vital and very very crucial and the reason for that is is that so many of them believe so wholeheartedly that Ellen White is a true prophet, prophet of God right they say that her writings which they call lesser light leading to the greater light which is the Bible is the spirit of prophecy or the testimony of Jesus Christ right I did a video on this the testimony of Jesus Christ or spirit of prophecy and I show that it's not Ellen G. White writings I also did a video on her false prophecies her Bible contradictions and you know her teachings on the bridegroom the shut door theory investigative judgment and just about every one of them I dismantled with, with simple using just using the Bible and taking it into context right I've, I think I've, I've given sufficient evidence to show that she is not a true prophet but you know there are times there are some allegations from Ellen White um, whereby persons say that she had um, epilepsy or something of that sort she had some brain brain issue because she was injured you know, at a young age by a brick that hit her in her face and many say that that caused her to have several seizures and so forth you can google that and you will find information information on that and due to these seizures or epilepsy which many say that she had some persons say that it could be the reason for, 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 for her having these visions and so forth. So I believe there are times, you know, when, when not just me, but many are of the belief that Ellen White, she was sincere in what she's doing. And it could be that she truly believed that God is speaking to her, giving her visions and so forth, when it really isn't from God. It's just her mind due to the injury that she got when she was a child right because sometimes when you see the things that she write it's almost as if you can feel the sincerity coming from her like she literally believe that she's a true prophet of god because i mean when you're going to say sometimes she she, she does in in some ways when you compare her to other false prophets or false teachers you can more sense the sincerity and genuineness of of, of what she's doing she would often find persons to the bible and so forth right in many instances right and she says many wonderful statements as a matter of fact if you trace her theology you will realize that Ellen White was somewhat evolving in theology and it is why her writings have if you check the year I, I mentioned it before in several videos that so one year she will say something and the next year she will say something else she was evolving in her theology right she's not she's not to be compared with the likes of joseph smith and rutherford of um, um, um from from the jehovah's witnesses so and so many other you can see the sincerity right in her writings i'm gonna read something something from from her um and, and one of the things that she said regarding her writings so it appears i won't be able to I won't be able to, 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 to read the specific quote that I want to, but I'll post it in the comment section for you, for you to, to check it out. In the first two quotes from Testimonies for the Church, Volume 5, 98.1 and, and 98.2, she speaks of how skepticism was occurring within the church. And you find in the first and in, in the second quote where she's basically telling them that her writings either bear the stamp of God or it does not, right? And she says that God and Satan doesn't work in partnership, right? It's either it is of God or it is, or, 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 or it, is, it is not of God, right? And she concluded by saying, a good tree 
cannot bring forth good corrupt fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. By their fruit he shall know them. God has spoken. Who has trembled at his word? Right? So she's saying that by the fruit. So she's essentially she's saying that you should test her, her writings by its fruits. Right? And then say, who had trembled at his word? So it's like she is somewhat sure that her writings bear, 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 bear the, 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 the seal or our signet of God in its report. If we look at what she's saying, in our post the post the quotes in the comment section. She genuinely believes that her writings bear the stamp of God. Right? And she go on further to say in the second quote, right? That, that, that I have um, in, in the comment section, the, la the very last one. It says, If the testimonies, which is her writing, speak not according to the word of God, reject them. Christ and Belial cannot be united. So you see, her very own works, her very own words condemn her. And this is what I wish Seventh-day Adventists would, 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 would obey. This is the one statement or command from Ellen White that I wish they would obey. But funny enough, you know, this is the one statement that every single one of them ignore. They pick and choose things to, to embrace, right? From seven day, the seven day Adventists pick and choose different things to embrace and to reject from Ellen White, right? But this is one statement from Ellen White which no seven day Adventists reject. They don't reject her writings wholly. Right, they pick and choose what to, what, what to obey and what not to obey. But yet still, this, once you're a Seventh-day Adventist, you will utterly ignore this statement of her. That if, my, if, if, if it doesn't, if, it, if it's not in accordance with God's word, reject them. This is the advice that I'm urging Seventh-day Adventists to take from Ellen White. This is, and, and, and you know, funny enough, I would say that I am more of an Ellen White follower than they are. Right? I more believe in Ellen White than there. And it's because I believe in Ellen White why I stopped reading her writings. Because she did say that if the testimony speak not according to the word of God, reject them. And that's precisely what I did. It doesn't speak in accordance to the word. It's not in accordance to the word of God. And that's why I reject it altogether. So you see, if Ellen White is really sincere, she was really sincere in her belief, she is not to be blamed. Seventh-day Adventists, they are the one, to, uh, the one to be blamed. And if indeed Ellen White really had a, a, a head problem, an injury to her brain that caused these hallucinations of hers, I am very convinced in my mind that it's highly possible that she could be saved. Despite the falsehood and despite leading many astray, she could be saved. Right, for she did say that if it doesn't, if it's not in accordance with God's word, reject them. But they have failed to obey this command. Thus her sincerity is, is proven by this very statement alone. Right, her sincerity is proven by this very statement alone. And this very statement condemns her. Right? You don't find most false prophets saying these things that if my writings is not according, if what I say is not according to, to God's word, reject it. You don't find Reverend Sung Young Moon, a false prophet who says things like that. You don't find Jim Jones. You don't find David Koresh. Right? None of those persons who started cults. You don't find Mir Baker Eddy. You don't find, I could, I could, I could give scores of, scores of their names. You don't find, you don't find J.F. Rutherford from, from the Jehovah's Witness you don't find Joseph Smith saying anything of this sort that if what I say is not in accordance with the word of God reject them that is why I'm saying many say that Ellen White is sincere in her belief she's just wrong in many respects she really believed that she was a prophet and I really believe that it, it, is, it is very much possible that the head injury that she had when, uh, when she was a child could have caused her to hallucinate and feel she's a prophet. So she's not to be blamed. Adventists themselves are the one to be blamed. And this is the command that I wish every one of them would, uh, would accept or uh, uh, would obey, which all of them ignore. For the day that they obey it, they will become a former Adventist like myself. I end this video. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, Please like, 
comments where necessary, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you can receive notifications whenever I make new uploads. And last but not least, share this video with whom you know will benefit from an amazing video like this. Bye bye now.